just got a text from my boss saying that my event tonight was canceled and because it was canceled within 24 hours I'm paid in full um, Veronica is not home tonight she's with her boyfriend at a hotel so I got the place to myself I got the night off I got my blackout curtains up and I'm still getting paid <gasps> I was like, damn, I got the place to myself. I wish I had the night off. Now I do. You make me feel so good. Now I can procrastinate for several more hours without feeling bad about myself until it's so late that I can just fall asleep again. Yes! Uh, there's so much I want to do, but I don't have all the energy in the world. In fact, I don't have as much energy as I feel like I fucking should. Man, like two, three weeks ago, I was in such a good place with like my routine being super like healthy and making me feel better and... Ugh. Just feel kind of like... I had one overworked weekend and I totally got derailed from that path and now I'm kind of taking a couple steps back, but it's okay. I didn't go all the way back and, uh, you know, I can get myself out of it again. Or rather back into the fuller self that I want to be. Having air conditioning is life-changing. <gasps> I'm alive! interesting things happening on my uh, dining table right now. We've got the rogue pile of Beanie Babies sitting on paycheck and a Cosmo, right? Shrink. Miranda. Peach's Flea Medicine. I've got six foot extension cord. This one's no joke. A lot going on there. So I've essentially got like 48 hours to find care for my mother when she gets out of the hospital. It's tough because it's a Saturday night, so that means that I have a whole Sunday and half of a Monday to get something figured out. Um, a lot of places aren't, aren't open or working on Sunday. And so to get something day of seems daunting, but uh, gotta figure something out, so. I have a lot of options now. I just don't know what type of care is good for her. You know, just like I think there's a gap in the education system where they don't necessarily help you to apply the skills uh, to your life. There's a huge gap here in the medical industry. They, you know, insist on you getting care, but don't guide you as to how at all. And it's, I don't think it's supposed to be like that. I think it might be a California thing. Um, so I was reading an article and it was like, your, what is it called? Your uh, caseworker will help you apply to housing and show you the options in the area. And I'm like, I just asked her if she had a directory of caregivers and she was like, no, I've never, I've never had to do that. I don't have that resource. And I was like, all right, cool. I'm just gonna like Google a whole bunch of shit and like hope it goes well, but like, is my mom gonna go live in a home? Is she gonna live in her home with a nurse or caregiver? What is the difference between the two of those? Should she just move to a different apartment? Should she move to an apartment that's in like a group home? Thanks 
for the help. Insurance company. How can they just release somebody from the hospital without making sure that they have care set up? You know, it's like somebody just has to go get my mom, like when you fucking need somebody to give you a ride home after a dental procedure, but that's it. Once she's picked up, it's like, I can't provide her with what she needs. I'm not a nurse practitioner. Is that different than a nurse? So many questions. So many questions. Nowhere to go. I've called a couple different places and told them the situation, and they're like, I don't know, but here's a bunch of places you can call. Nobody knows. Nobody knows it but me. You know, it's not the sort of thing like, trust your gut, go with your instincts. You truly know the answer. The answer is within you. Like, no, it's not. The answer is not within me. It's a big mystery. I feel like this outfit is pretty me. I got these. This jacket is so dope. I got it at a vintage, uh, like, open air market in Paris. It was a French workman's jacket from the 20s, but it's pretty uh, worse for wear these days. It's dope though, right? Hey, Beach, you wanna go on a walk? You wanna go on a walk? You wanna go on a walk? Okay. <sighs> Finally, I can go outside. There's a heat wave right now, and it's just been unbearably fucking hot. So now it's like 10 o'clock, and it's pretty nice out. It's still pretty fucking hot, but... Anyway, me and Peach are gonna walk down to Franklin and grab some dinner. So far today, I've had Italian food, a Slurpee, and some mango. So... Definitely time to eat. <laughs> We got an awesome seat. Yes. I'm just chilling. I got my drink and my two step. Make me feel so good.